Hi, welcome back. Um, I'm going to just add a particle particle emitter now um, to give us the exhaust coming out of the bottom of this rocket. Okay, so if I just go up to items at the top, we go down to the dynamic object. We've got collision, wind, gravity. Okay, it's going to go to particle, and I want it to be HV emitter. So I'll just and I'll call it um, exhaust. Okay, and just go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move it into the right position first. So if I just drag it down here, I'm just going to turn this to front face wireframe so I can see. I hit two on the keyboard, give me my top view. Okay. And I'm just going to roughly get it in the right spot to start off with. Okay, that'll be close enough for what we're doing. I have to make it a bit smaller. Okay, go to three. For the side view. Now, AV, oops, sorry, this didn't appear on screen. Okay, that's my particle emitter. Okay, when I created it, this window came up. And it's going to go size Y. I'm just going to go, say, 0 0.2 for now, just to make it smaller, maybe 0.1. Oops, I can say 1 for now. Sorry. I'll just change that. Ah, it's easier just to go. 0.1, there we go. 100 mil. And it's looking a bit big so I might just make it um, 0.5 wide by 0.5 okay and I'm just going to drag it down a bit further now, the good thing about the particle emitter is that you can press play down the bottom here and you can see how the particles are, are forming actually I might whack this out to 120 frames okay so give us a bit more time okay so at the moment um, birth rate's 100 it's generated by the second Nozzle is a sphere, we could change it to a cone if we want, it would be very similar to a sphere. Okay, <clears throat> now that's all we really need at the moment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get it, make it look like it's coming out to start off with. So if I go to motion, oh sorry, I'll just click on particle here. There's lots of different things you can do here, but particle, the particles are going to last for 60 frames at the moment. Uh, we'll just leave it like that for now, but you can play with those settings later. Okay, click on the motion tab. And this is velocity in meters a second. So if I go to Y, which is the up and down, I'll just maybe try minus 5 and press enter. Okay, there we go. We've got some some um, particles shooting out the bottom. And they're sort of coming straight out. I might put a little bit of explosion on there. So it's coming out more of, of an angle, like so. So um, we, we could put a collision object in. Um, I won't worry about that at the moment. But we'll just get this started okay so I've got that started and that's pretty much my what I'll, all I'll do at the moment okay we can play with some of those settings later I'm just going to pause that for a second okay so I've got my emitter there okay if I render that out though okay if I went um, render frame sorry I should just use a shortcut but render frame you'll notice there's nothing there at the moment okay and what I might do just for the sake of this is going to Grab my camera and I'll just sorry I'll just drag it down a bit so we're going to see more of the the particles. Okay, render frame. So nothing there because we haven't applied any hypervoxel to them. I'm at a hundred frame 100 and I move the camera down there. That doesn't matter because we can we can animate the camera. It doesn't matter. But at frame 100, uh, that's already already appearing hot because that's how long the particles have been going for. Okay, but what I'll do is I go to Window, Hypervoxels. There we go. Just went off your screen, sorry. Okay, Window, Hypervoxels. And see, so it's showing all the objects, but I'm just going to double click on the exhaust because that's where I want the hypervoxels to appear. Okay, and if I go to my Viper, hit Render. That's what we've got. We've just got the default hypervoxels there. If you wanted to have a bit of a it's shooting that out, or you could. Okay, so with this, I'm just going to do, um, use a preset, do a little bit of cheating, and then I'm going to tweak it. So if I go up to my window presets, I'm going to go to fire and smoke. I'm not going to worry about smoke at this stage, I'm just going to do fire. So if I just double click on the fire, go yes. Do you want, um, yeah, I'll just keep the current particle size so it looks like. Okay. 
we might want to turn that particle size up a bit. Now at the moment, by default, it's made it volume. Okay, we want it to be a sprite. Okay, we want the particles to be a bit bigger than that. So let's go 0.5. Oops, sorry. That'll be 0 0.5. There we go. That's looking a bit better. Okay. You could even go... We'll just have a look. Um, and if I just render a frame out, Okay, so that's getting pretty close to um, having the the um, fire, and that was pretty quick, wasn't it? Okay, well, just by using the default, I might make the, I might leave them at. Um, so I might just I'll leave that at that size. I'm just gonna shut that down for a second. It's gonna go to properties. Okay, go to properties, and go to get up the particles. Okay. And I might just make the generator size 0.45. Oops. 0.45. Just a little bit smaller. Oh, bugger. 0.45. Uh, there we go. Just remember that. There we go. So that's looking pretty good. Okay. Um, we can do a quick preview. So if I go make preview. Okay. There we go. That's looking pretty good for what it is. Okay, so I'll just hit play. Okay, I've been moving the particle around when I'm on the different... It looks like the frame's moving around, but see if I... I um, oh, the camera was moving. Okay, I'll just get rid of this for a minute. That's all a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, so I'll just go here. I'm just going to delete the camera key off for a minute. Okay zero now I'm just going to go back to my particle my exhaust which is going to go motion I'm just going to make sure it's parented to the rocket so if I start to move the rocket up it'll go with it okay I just want to render that frame out there okay there we go now um, if I get Viper back up go okay, Viper okay we'll just um, Again, go make preview. There we go. Okay, so it's, it's coming a bit out the top there. What I might do, I'll just stop that. I'm just going to go to my um, window hyperboxes panel. And I might just make it... Um, Oops, sorry, let's make it 500. No. Okay, particles size, uh, well, a bit smaller. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Okay. And what we could do as well, I'm just going to go to properties again for my. Actually, we'll do it, um, yeah, properties for my particle minute so I can see where it's got particles. Double click on there. You can change the birth rate, so what, and you can change all these options. So you could have the rocket just idling over and coming out at a certain rate, and then when it gets um, goes to take off, you could go in here and you, you could bump it up over time. Okay, I won't do that for now. Okay, but um, you could bump that up over time and make it look like it's really powering on. I'll do that in a later tutorial. Okay, more advanced tutorial of this. Okay, but for now, this will, this is pretty close to what I want. Now, I want that, once I've got that right, pretty close to right, I get that one right, okay? And then um, I'll just hit two on the keyboard so I can get the top view. Once I've got one right, I'll just make sure I'm at frame zero. I'll just go Control-C to clone. And I'll take that one across so it's roughly in the middle of that one. Then I'll hold the Shift key down and click on the other one. And I Control-C to clone. Okay, they'll make. So he's got a clone, two clones. There we go. So now, render frame, and there we go. It's got all four, um, all four rockets there. I'll just do this as a sl rocket slowly going up. Okay, and I'll just add a couple of extra features to it right now. Okay, so they all still should be parented. I'll just open up my scene editor. Uh, yep, see how they're all parented to the rocket? 
You can see that. Because the first one was parented, when I cloned it, it kept its parenting. What I'm going to do to the rocket, though, uh, I'm just going to change this from VPR to Texture Shaded Solid for a while. I'm going to click on my rocket, make sure the rocket, yeah, it's rocket. And it's going to go to my graph editor. Okay. With the gra graph editor open, I'm just going to grab a modifier, click on the modifiers tab, and I'm going to look for a noisy channel. Okay. Now that's going to be too much to start off with. If I hit play here, see how much the rocket's moving? Okay. I'll just move it. See, that's way too much. I'm just going to double click that. So what I can do is scale. If I go point 0.1 and go enter, okay, it's probably too much still. So point zero 0.05, not too bad. Probably still point zero 0.02, I reckon, might be close. Yeah, that's closer. Bit of a shutter happening there. And speed, you might, you might go two. Okay, so that's a bit of a shake because it's a big rocket. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of shuddering going on. That'll do for now. So I've got the modifier, just added the modifier channel. There's lots of different things you can do here, but we'll just do this one for now. So sh shut that down. So what I'm going to do is I'll just get the rocket to slowly go up over so many frames. Okay, so if I go... I should save this, shouldn't I? I'll just go S for save, rocket ship scenes, and I'll just call it rocket one. Okay. Should have done that earlier. Remember shift S then if I go shift S I get version zero zero one and so on. Okay, so I'll just um go four over here, zoom out. Okay. I'll get the I'll just get the camera and I'll move it back a little bit and up a little bit okay we can get the camera to move in I'll just okay so and I'll just get the rocket from 0 to 120 and I'll just get it to to be going up there we go so let's have a look okay just a quick little animation just pretend it's all going I'll just actually I'll start it so it's a little bit out so actually we've got it so it doesn't change color until later so um, yeah I would have just had it sitting sitting idling normally and then when I went to boost it to change color but anyway this will do okay so um, I'll just do a quick render of this and then I'll play it back to show you what it looks like okay yeah, you notice this is rendering out the trails are way too long but um, you could shorten the lot particle lifespan up instead of 60 frames you could you could change that okay so I just thought I'd bring that up before it quite finished okay that's it um, so I'll just go and grab it okay Give it a second. Okay, um. yeah, all that for that. There we go. Shut that down. Okay, there we go. There's our little rocket going up. Okay, uh, yeah, no, the trail's probably a bit too long. Let's see how it's, that's getting hotter. There we go. There we go. So that ends this little tutorial. Um, hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you soon.